Hello, so in this video, I am using um, Princeton Heritage brushes, size one inch uh, wash brush for this part. And just putting in a lot of water, prepare the page for a nice gradient wash. Make sure there's water covering the entire page. For this painting, I'm using my Meng Yeo watercolors, and I start with a nice bright yellow at the top and pulling in color straight from the pan. I'll be using a Princeton Heritage 8 round for the entire painting. And right here I'm dropping in some uh, rose matter. And you want to bring down the yellow enough to where you want to blend up your pink up into the yellow to get a little bit some orange hue. And then I grab my wash brush to, to blend that color. And you don't want to have the wash brush um, wet with any water. You want to have it dry when you smooth that out. Bring in some purple and pull that all the way down to the bottom. And adding some plain, clean water to pull any remaining color down. And then I'm drying the sides and along the edges so I don't have any back runs. Let your painting completely dry now before you start your first layer of mountains. For the first layer of mountain, I am mixing two different purples, one lighter purple, one darker purple um, for the first mountain that you're going to see. But I also dilute it with some water so we can get um, a lighter value of that color. pick a spot where I want the farthest mountain to begin and I use the belly of my brush and pull the paint down. For some clean water because I don't want any hard edges going on so I want all the water to go to the bottom. Here I got distracted by a big piece of fuzz in the middle of my painting. since I have done a painting of this um, kind, so I am noticing that I'm painting a lot slower than usual. I mix my paint to be a little bit darker in value for this next layer. For me, I let 
my paintbrush, decide where the mountains are going to go, how they're shaped. Um, to be honest, it kind of drives me crazy at times because my hand likes to do a certain fluid motion, but I just can't bring myself to draw them in, but you can. Here I come in with plain water and I start at the highest part of my mountain and with the belly of my brush, I move the water down and smooth it out to get a nice even value and add water until you get the color that you want and pull the water and the paint down as you go. Here I'm still mixing color on my palette and until I get the value that I want, darkening it a little more from the last layer. this layer, because we're darkening the value, I'm adding more paint as I bring, bring the color down and the mountain down. We're going to go back in with water anyways, but I do want to lay that color down initially and lift your board up um, or your block up to help pull that paint down for your wet and dry. If you like the color of your mountain, you don't need to go in and do the, the wash of clean water over what you have. I choose to do so. Um, it helps control my layering. Instead of mixing my color with water on my palette, I do it on my paper. method of building up your value is a great practice to practice your values and learning how your paint also dries so how to get your value that you want while it's wet being able to learn what value it will be when it will dry
watching and I hope you check out part two. Take care.